What's up you guys, it's your boy Felipe and today we're gonna talk about why I decided to go back to work. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started, though, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It totally helps me out, especially if you're digging the Guayabero shirts. They're awesome. They're authentic to Mexico. They're actually hand-stitched and super comfortable. So let's get started. Why did I decide to go back to wholesaling and start working again after I was able to retire myself based on real estate cash flow? Great question. And this is probably one that I'm getting a lot recently because people who follow me on Instagram at Felipe Mejia, R-E-I, are wondering, you know, why I'm wholesaling. Uh, versus just relaxing and the simple answer to that and the most the most quick answer is going to be because I like fun money but I want to explain something that wholesaling is not a passive position it is definitely a job and it requires skill now for those of you who don't know wholesaling is basically just flipping a contract from a ho from a seller to a buyer and you're just in between taking a cut so John Doe sells me property A for 50000 I then sign it under contract. I don't ever close it. In my contract, it says assignable to or assignees. And then what I do is I find a buyer for that contract, and then I sell it to them for 60000 and I make the 10000 in the middle. And if it's simple and it sounds easy, it's because it really is. But there is a lot of prelim work that you have to do. First off, where do you find properties that people are going to sell under value? Well, you go to a website called propstream.com, link below. You can use mine for seven day free trial. And basically what you can do is you can find distressed properties or owners who tried to sell on the MLS and couldn't get it sold, retired or tired landlords. All these are things that you can find in PropStream. Shoot me a DM on Instagram if you need help with that. I can definitely show you how to do that. But that is how you're going to find properties that are undervalued. Now, Felipe, how am I going to find cash buyers? Well. That's also pretty simple. You go to propstream.com, link below, and what you do is you put on there people that are buying properties left and right, flipping them and then selling them again. And there's literally a button, <coughs> excuse me, where you can put like someone that's owned a property for less than a year, and then you go and then you check their pictures. And if the property is rehabbed from the time they bought it to the time they sold it, obviously they're flippers. You then find property in that same area, and then you skip trace them. You call them and say, hey, I got, I saw that you sold a property recently on 123 Main Street. I have one on 12345 Main Street. Are you interested in the same property? And they've already made their profit, so you can flip that property to them, i.e. wholesaling. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the 30,000 foot view. Now, why did I decide to go back to work? It's very simple. I wanted to have a little bit more fun money, if that makes sense, right? Wholesaling gives me a life where I can stay home and make YouTube videos for you guys. Um, but it doesn't provide me that fun money. I'm kind of like on a fixed income, if that makes sense. Like right now, my real estate gives me a certain amount of money per month and I'm able to spend that, but I'd really like to take more vacations or more, uh, um, you know, whatever. So everyone knows I have a dream to buy a Tesla, you know, why not? Uh, but I really don't want to take that out of my monthly uh, fixed income from my rental properties. So to get out of that, I'm going to be doing some wholesaling just to fund some of my fun toys. So that is why I've actually went back. Now, wholesaling is a really interesting job because it does give me a high return for a little amount of time. Um, and I can't you know, lie on here. I do have a partner that's helping me run through this and I'm helping him with my connections. And it does take a little bit of time. So the first thing that we do is we go to propstream.com, click, 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 link below. And you can actually look for distressed properties like we talked about. Um, and then what you do is you just contact them by skip tracing those that list. So I pull a list of maybe 2000 people. I then send them a text blast and I tell them, Hey, I'm really interested in buying your property. Uh, would you be interested in selling? Now, when people reply, then I reach out to them and I say, Hey, this is what we're willing to offer. And we try to get it at 60, 70% value of the property. And then we sell it for about 80% or less. Uh, so we make a very small margin, but it's absolutely no work done. And I never buy the property. So I don't need cash to get started. I'm able to buy it for 50, sell it for 65 and make 10, 15 in the middle. So it's a super sweet way to make extra money for anyone that wants to get started in real estate. Um, that's a quick way to make some money, but it is a job and don't let anyone lie to you and say that it's not. So that is why I went back to a job because I wanted to make a little bit more money just to have more fun, uh, more vacations of, uh, I don't know, a Tesla, things of that nature, right? So. 
Personally, I wanted to go back for those reasons there. So if you're interested in making a lot more money, um, as passively as you can try, but it is definitely gonna be work, um, I think you should try wholesaling. And if you shoot me a DM on Instagram, I can definitely give you some tips and tricks uh, as much as I can. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we will go from there. Thanks guys.